Okay, let's face the truth. Burnout is far too real in the actuarial field, especially when you're studying for exams. Most future actuaries think that if they spend more time, they put more effort in, they put more energy into studying, that they're more likely to succeed and that they'll be able to succeed faster. And I totally get that train of thought. I used to be that way too, and I used to think that way. There tends to be so much pressure to pass exams, especially if you wanna get a job quickly. So I totally get where this is coming from. But if you've been spending months and months and months on end studying for actuarial exams, then I'm guessing you're experiencing some symptoms of burnout. That might be that maybe when you go to start studying, you just can't get your head into it. Maybe you are starting to feel guilty when you're not studying. Maybe you have contemplated stopping your actuarial journey because you're just feeling overworked, tired, frustrated, and like you just have too much on your plate. All of these are signs of burnout. And in this video, you're going to learn one thing that you can do, something that I've done personally and something I've helped many other future actuaries do in order to help reduce the chances of burnout and make sure that it doesn't cause you to give up on your actuarial goals. And by the way, I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their very first actuarial job. So now let's get into this video. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So I was on a coaching call last week with one of my one-on-one -on -one mentorship actuarial clients. And during these calls, we usually just talk about what they've been up to in terms of their actuarial goals and I give them advice and guidance on how to proceed. So this particular member or client was studying for an actuarial exam. Usually during these calls I like to just ask about how things are going. So I asked this time and the answer I got was a bit of a surprise. He mentioned that he was starting to feel really burnt out. Now I know this is something that's very common in the actuarial field but I didn't know that he in particular was starting to feel burnt out with his study schedule. So I really wanted to dig into this. I asked him more details. He said that the study strategy that we had come up with together was really working well for him, but he was spending seven hours per day studying. He was starting to dread studying. He didn't want to do it anymore. It was starting to feel daunting, like a chore that he just didn't want to do. So right there, I knew that we had to do something because this type of feeling can make it almost impossible to continue studying in the long term. It can also lead to things like depression, anxiety, different health issues, all that sort of stuff. And that is stuff that we definitely want to avoid on your actuarial journey. So seven hours a day, first of all, definitely isn't feasible time-wise. And secondly, it was causing him a lot of stress and he was feeling like he just couldn't keep up. This same thing happens to so many future actuaries. Studying starts to take a toll on their mental health. So here's what I did. I implemented a four day no study period into his study schedule. Even though his exam was only one and a half months away, I knew he absolutely needed it and the time off would be well worth it. I knew he wouldn't be able to efficiently study for his exam for the next one and a half months if he was going to continue dreading studying every time he went to do it. So this strict no study period is like mandatory days off where he doesn't have to think about studying. He doesn't have to feel guilty if he's not studying. It's basically like a study vacation. And if you do something like this, it's going to be a great way for you to take some time away from studying, take time to actually do things that you really enjoy. Maybe you could take a trip to the beach, take a family vacation out of town, maybe spend the day at the spa, whatever you like to do, this is the perfect time to do it because you don't have to worry about studying. Now the break is nice. The four day break is definitely really nice. You can really officially let go of the guilt that you might usually feel when you're not studying. I know from my own experience that whenever I was not studying, I was feeling guilty for not studying. And this four day break really gives you a chance to just enjoy life again. And it's the best thing for your mental health. Honestly, you'll come back to your studying feeling refreshed, re-energized, and you'll have that same go all in mentality that you started your studying with. But there is also a secondary benefit that most future actuaries don't even think about or realize when they take this break. And that is that you're actually going to spend less time studying overall. You see, your brain just doesn't work as well when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling exhausted, when you're just feeling like you're dreading doing whatever you're trying to do. So if you actually take this break, refresh, re-energize, you're going to come back to your studying with a whole new focus and a great mentality. And that means you're going to be able to perform better. You'll be far more productive. You'll be able to remember things better. You'll be able to perform better, all that kind of stuff. When you come to 
something with a recharged and refreshed mind after taking a break from studying. So right now, I'm guessing that you're feeling burnt out. So you have got to do this too. You've got to take a four day no study vacation, but this can't be a one time thing. It's not something you just do when you are starting to feel burnt out. It's something that needs to be ongoing, something that you do continuously so that you don't become burnt out. Whenever I create study strategies for my one on one mentorship clients, I always incorporate break days into their schedule, usually one or two per week. And actually this member that I've been talking about in this video, he had break days scheduled, but he wasn't taking them. He was feeling like he had to be studying. And that right there is a big mistake. You need to take time away from studying. You need to give your mind a break. You need, and I assume you want work life balance as well. Now I know that sometimes taking time for yourself, doing things that you really enjoy rather than studying, it can feel hard to do that. But just remember that these breaks are actually what you need to succeed. These breaks are actually saving you lots of time. That way you can feel good about taking time to do things that you find enjoyable, things you find fun, but you're also at the same time increasing your chances of passing. If you don't keep your mind in a good place, you're just not going to get the results you want. Break days are essential. Now, many people get into the actuarial field because of the work-life balance. They hear how great it is in the actuarial field. And I'm guessing if you are watching this video right now, you're probably just not feeling that work-life balance that you were promised, that you've been hearing about. But just like you need to be intentional about creating work-life balance once you go into the actuarial field, have your first job and all that sort of stuff, you also need to be intentional about creating work-life balance now while you're not working in an actuarial position and you're still studying for your exams. If you want to know more about work-life balance and really how to achieve that in the actuarial field, then make sure you go watch this video next because I talk all about it in there. So that's all for this week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.